What's going on everyone, Hayden here, back again with another video, and I just wanted to jump on here real quick and talk about something very important and very specific, and that's also one of my biggest businesses, and that is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is one of my current largest streams of income, and one of the reasons I picked this, got into it, love it, still love it, and will always be doing it, is because it's very simple, right? You don't need, you know, from a product or service creation standpoint, you're not building anything, you don't have to create it. You don't really have to worry about the customer's experience after that. Because if you know it's a rock solid product, service, whatever it is, you're not gonna have to worry about refunds, teaching someone, providing a service, getting results for a client. Whatever the product or thing that you're selling may be, you don't have to deal with that because it's not yours, right? You're just selling it, you're connecting someone, right? You're connecting a buyer with the person who offers their solution. You're the middle person, you're just taking an affiliate cut of that. Usually I'm shooting for like 40 to 70%. Uh, it can be a little bit less, hopefully higher, it really just depends on the offer. There's a thing called CPA marketing where you get 100%, I don't really do that. I just do you know, quality services and products that I use and have actually helped me with my multiple businesses, and that's what I promote. Right. So my biggest thing is I don't wanna be selling something that I'm not using, right? Something that I haven't used in the past, something that hasn't actually brought me value, so I'm making sure I'm only bringing the best type of content to my audience. So right now I'm gonna jump in and break down you know, my earnings with affiliate marketing, where it's coming from, a few different sources, which again is probably why you're here. That's the whole point of this video is to get really specific and show you guys my numbers. So one of my most consistent and favorite streams of income right now is Lead Friend. That's basically what I'm doing to organically grow a ton of my different Instagram pages, as well as using their affiliate side because why not, right? It's a service product I use every single day. I love it, it's great. So why not refer people to it because I know it's adding value to them. Right, and I've been doing this for about six months now. I've built up an income stream of about two grand a month, coming in consistently, and in the last two months, I haven't touched it, right? I have not really been actively promoting it because I no longer own a bunch of my big influencer pages, which was kinda what I was using to leverage my credibility just from like my personal marketing standpoint, right? So everyone else is different, you know, that's just how I did my thing. But now that I'm getting back into things with personal branding, I've been focusing a lot on my Instagram, now gonna be YouTube, so I'm just focused on growing that, growing my audience and providing a ton of value through that. Lead front is definitely something I wanna share with you, right? Because that's how I've been able to do what I wanna do. As I'm recording this, my last post on Instagram got about 2,500 likes within the first hour by hitting all the explore pages for every hashtag I used, and I only have 3,800 followers, right? So that's like a 60, 70% engagement rate, something like that, which is unheard of. So with organic boosting, which is kind of how Lead Friend does their stuff, they're gonna get you right up on top of the Explore page next to all these different people, Gary Vee, Ty Lopez, whoever. All these people do that, and you can rank right up there with them very, very easily, which is the fastest, most effective way to build an audience. As for the affiliate side of it, which is why you're here, all the good stuff, you know, how much money I'm actually making from it. My first month, I actually, I jumped in about halfway through the month, and it was about $360 that month, right? So that was about a week and a half worth of commissions and that was residual, so that was cool, I got a taste of it. The next month I grinded, went hard with it, was learning how to you know, use it, how to effectively promote it, sell it, and kinda you know, what worked from a prospecting standpoint and closing deals. Next month I broke my goal of 1,000, it was about 1,080 I believe. The next month was 1,700, and then I was planning on continuing to scale you know, 2,500, four grand, eight grand, all these different milestones. But unfortunately, you know, Instagram started shutting down a ton of different automation companies. Now don't freak out. Lead Friend is not an automation company, which is exactly why they're still in business while all these different things, Jatch, Instagram, Morphix, whatever you name it, is no longer in business because this is actually a social media marketing agency. So what they do is management, right? Yeah, they have certain automation aspects of it. Mostly they hire VAs to do their stuff, but it's organic boosting, right? So they're not just like automating complete bullshit on your page, sending out spam and all that stuff, which I hate. Honestly, I've turned off some of those features, especially for my personal page, just because it really hurts you more than it helps you. So after I broke 1,700, just over 1,700 in one month, um, Lead Friend actually paused while they were talking to Instagram while a ton of different companies were getting shut down, which unfortunately for me, a few people quit, got you know scared, big brands and stuff, weren't really comfortable with what was going on, and so they left. I've since brought a lot of those people back because I've shown them you know what it's doing, what they're still doing, they're still good, everything's rock solid. But you know they did leave, so I did take a hit, and the next month was about 1,200, which is about a 500 to 550 dollar loss. Uh, not the biggest deal. And so since that point where I dropped down to 1,200, I haven't really done any work, right? And I got my income back up to 1,700. So what did I do in those month and a half? Nothing, right? So Leadfront has about a 40 to 50 percent affiliate system, and that's residual, but it's also two tiers. So the people I was bringing in. I was showing a few of my friends and people who already did a little bit of affiliate marketing. I was just showing them what worked for me on making sales 
and then they went out and started making sales themselves, so I was getting a small cut of that. Now, it's not some 35 fucking layers deep pyramid scheme bullshit. It's just a two-tier affiliate system, which for me, I really liked because I knew then once I trained the right people and brought them in and showed them how it worked and like what it can actually do for people, I knew they'd go sell the fuck out of it, which they have. You know, my buddy Demetrius killing it. He's right now one of the, also the top affiliates and lead friend. He's breaking over a thousand a month. About to be driving that right up to two, three, four, five, passing me for sure. Game on, brother. It's been really fun, you know, seeing uh, the money coming in, the people being affected, my pages growing. You know, right now my personal page is the most interesting thing ever to me. Like watching the engagement, the people. You know, I've had influencer pages with well over a hundred thousand followers, but nothing, absolutely nothing, compares to having a personal page with even five hundred followers. You know, all these opportunities to network go out, you know, fly out to LA, San Diego, La Jolla, rent these cars. The videos you saw with the M4, the Lamborghini, the Ferrari, everything, those were provided because of my personal page, right? I showed these people my brand. I said, I'm gonna shout you out, I'm gonna help you out, all this stuff. And remember, I'm 17. It's not that easy to just rent a car. Most places you have to be 25, at least 21, you know, that's a minimum. So by helping them out, not only was I able to do it, but I also got a really, really good deal for it. So able to have fun, do that, lead friend, you know, they paid for all that stuff. Not directly, but you know, I use some of that money to do whatever. Um, and I have multiple other income streams with affiliate marketing, which I'm going to jump into. You know, selling different courses, stuff that I'm learning from. Um, I'm trying to document my journey on YouTube for drop shipping, so blowing up my business. Eventually, maybe I can show you guys uh, where I'm learning. Right now, it is kind of a beta group, and it's not even open to the public, so there's no point in that. But I definitely want to show you guys, you know, what's been working for me once I get the results flooding in. So that's kind of my story. If you do want to check out Lead Friend, I'm going to leave a link below. Feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll, I'll leave my Instagram tagged as well. And just let me know any questions you have. I'd be more than happy to help you out, see what I can do because I've been in your position. That was only a few months ago. You know, I'm not making 100 grand a month, not yet, but I'm just pushing past that five figures a month mark, trying to make it really, really consistently. Lead Friend's been helping me with that, a few other things. YouTube's going to be sick, but right now it's just focused on this affiliate marketing and drop shipping. So let me know what content you guys want to see. See you in the next one.